Cypress runs in the browser, right? And it will never have multiple tab support. Getting the, the, the element over here, we're invoking the attribute um, method from, from jQuery and we're looking for the target. And as you can see, the value is blank as expected. It is getting the main header, which is this one over here. Then we're invoking the text a method from the jQuery API and then we have the links value. Hey masters, welcome back to Drone Media. Welcome back to another amazing video of Cypress. Today we are going to be reviewing the invoke function. Okay. We're going to be learning some use cases that where we can apply the usage of this particular method. For example, we're going to be getting the text from an element. We're going to be getting the CSS property from, a, from an element. And also, well, as you probably know, Cypress has a kind of limitation because Cypress runs in the browser, right? And it will never have multiple tab support. So with Invoke, we are going to be capable to see a workaround where we can, well, change the target from the CSS. And then we're going to be capable to navigate after you click on a button or a link while changing the target attribute. I'm going to try to explain you this step by step. So please watch the whole video until the end because we're going to be learning a lot from this particular well, tutorial video, right? So uh, welcome back and let's go ahead and take a look of this description. Well, basically invoke, well, invoke a function on the previously yielded subject, okay? Um, this is the syntax. Basically, we have the invoke function and then we can have different parameters inside of this function, okay? Um, I highly recommend you to come here and check the different arguments, the different options that you have. There are different examples that you are, you can use for sure. But in this case, we're going to be taking a look at a basic overview. But I think that it is going to be very valuable because it is kind of a tricky concept. And I, well, I try to research a bit well to, to give you more context and well uh, I to avoid you some kind of problems understanding this okay so I'm gonna come here to my framework and I'm gonna be creating a simple describe at the beginning of this uh, of this script okay this describe is gonna be called something like invoke test scripts okay and this is gonna rev actually have a, a callback function over here where we are gonna have well my before each is or my hooks and, and the, the different scripts that I'm gonna be, well, kind of testing, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with a before each hook. If you remember the before each hook is gonna be, well, triggering different, uh, well, the, the instruction that, I'm, that I want every single time that a test is executed. So before each, I'm gonna be visiting a website. Which website? Let me show the website to you right away. This is going to be the website demoqa.com slash links. And you may be wondering why. Where, well, we have a kind of home link over here that when I, as soon as I click on it, we're going to be, well, I'm sorry for that. Probably I made a change, but I'm going to reload the website again. And as soon as, as, soon as I click on home, it is going to be actually opening a different tab, as you can see over here. And what well, we're going to try to see the workaround that I promised you uh, as the, at the beginning of this video to well, uh, change the target and open this particular link in the same tab. And I'm going to right away explain you how we can achieve this. Well, probably if you are a web developer, you are already know this, but if you are not, uh, well, we have a kind of property here in the, in the HTML, right? Which is target. This target attribute in this particular case has the blank value it means that it is going to be opening a new tab as soon as you click on this particular a tag okay however if we change this target to for example self and i click on this now it is going to be redirecting to the website but now it is in the same tab right as you saw before however well obviously since this is the the, the chrome um kind of dev tool uh, console right well as soon as i reload the website well the target is again blank but also if we delete the target it is going to be set default as self and as you can see over here it is going to be actually redirecting to the new website but in the same particular tab so i want to achieve this with 
Cypress and one way to do this is with invoke because we can invoke a function on the previously yielded subject and let's go and understand what is going to happen in, in this particular script I'm going to copy the link over here and I'm going to paste it in my framework and then I'm going to be creating a simple it okay this it is going to have a, a particular name something like invoke okay invoke um, to remove a target attribute okay let's go ahead and, and also I'm gonna try to well see with you um, what is the behavior when I click on on a link with Cypress and why it is not capable to focus or change the focus between tabs okay so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna be simple doing a get right the get is gonna be pointing to this particular attack and this a tag has the ID simple link. So we have to use a number symbol at the beginning and then the value of the selector. Cause this is an ID, right? If it is a class, it has to be a dot at the beginning of the selector. So then I'm gonna be doing a simple click, right? And I missed the word function over here. I'm sorry for that. And then I want to do something. I'm gonna do a site location, okay? And this site location which is an inbuilt Cypress method, right? Um, I want to do a then um, method, which is going to be actually, as you can see over here, enables you to work with the subject yielded from the previous command, right? So we're gonna get the response from the yielded object, and I'm gonna play with the with what if it is gonna be yielded object, and we can do something like yield uh, scilog to see. Uh, for example, the, the yielded object that href. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and let's run this in in the in, in Cypress. This is in you know, under the invoke folder, and I'm gonna run right away this particular script. And as you can see, well, the before each is working. We're visiting the demo QA links, and then it is opening a new tab over here. And well, if I change back to the original tab, you can see well that that the href from the location object is actually demo QA slash links, which is correct, right? It is not changing the focus of the tab. And well, if we compare this with Selenium, we have an, uh, well, a, a workaround. We can change the focus and, and Selenium can handle the, the driver in that particular way. However, since Cypress runs on the browser, it is not capable. We cannot move the test runner from, from a tab to another one, right? So that's probably why we, we are not capable to do this. So let's go ahead and remove the target from the home. And that's where we can use invoke for this particular task. Okay. So um, I'm going to come here to at the beginning of the script and I'm going to do a get. The get is going to be pointing to the, uh, well, the, the same selector over here, simple link. Okay, and this simple link is going to be calling the invoke, okay, the invoke method. And here we can use different functions. It is, um, well, probably it is not, but you have to know that Cypress um, run or can run some uh, jQuery commands, jQuery functions. And if we come here to the official documentation of the API jQuery, well, we can use different uh, uh, functions uh, right in this in, in actually in this category which is the general attributes as you can see we can get the value of an attribute using this method we can remove an attribute using this method and we can get the value and and so on there are a lot of options using jquery so i highly recommend you to also come here to the, this to this particular website to check the different manipulation methods that you can use in this case i want to use this one remove attribute I want to remove the target from the element so it's, it, we can well check or validate different stuff that we want as soon as we click on the on the link and we can use well the same tab instead of opening another one right so let's go ahead and do it the, the way to do this is, is pretty simple we have to look for the method which is remove attribute so I'm gonna uh, use it inside of quotes okay I don't need the function uh, syntax, we just need the name of it, which is um, remove at, okay? And then we have to specify the um, 
the attribute that we want to delete in this case is the target okay so as soon as we have done this um well i think that as soon as i run this again you're gonna see that now we are not opening a second tab let me run this again we're now well visiting the new website as soon as we click on the link but in the same tab and well as you can see in the location now we have the correct href from the location element actually object over here it is pointing to demo qa without the links a uh, endpoint at the, at the end of the url right so uh, that's basically one workaround and one way to use invoke let me show you this um it is important to mention that cypress run in a synchronous mode right and so sometimes we need to use the method then like in this case in order to uh, to have a promise result right and work with the subject yielded from the previous command right like this yielded object however there are some cases when you want to work with constant variables or non cypress commands like this one invoke right that we are triggering or actually bringing from the jQuery API and that's where maybe invoke comes to play and we can and we can use it to, to simul simulate a kind of, of then command. And I'm gonna try to explain you how you can achieve that, okay? So let's imagine that before, or actually um, after, okay? After we uh, validate that we can, um, or actually we can play with, with this particular method, I wanna make sure, or I want to grab the CSS property, right? From this particular link, which is home. And I want to get the value of the attribute target. Okay. I don't want to delete it now. I want to make sure that the target has the value blank. Or actually, I just want to grab the, the value, right? Or, or we want to do the both things, right? <laughs> so I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a new it. Okay. And this it is going to have a, a particular name, something like invoke to get an attribute. Um, okay, then we just have to do a kind of function here and a callback one, right? And now we're gonna be doing something like Saiget. We're gonna be pointing to the same uh, particular web element, right? And then I'm gonna be using again the invoke function. And this instead of on this invoke function, uh, well, I want to get um, the attribute. Mm, so we can use another method if you remember in the last it we use the remove attribute in order to well remove the attribute itself right obviously however if we take a look again in the official documentation we have another method here which is at and well it it is useful to get the value of an attribute for the first element in the set of match elements okay so we can use the this particular element actually method which is at and then well we just have to look for the target uh, attribute that we want to get so um, as soon as i have done that i can use then and as you uh, you're gonna see here we can play around with this then to well grab the target value and we can do a side lock and see what is the value because probably or probably not you want to grab the value and we'll have it available for future uses okay so let's take a look of this uh, result and as you can see well we're getting the 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 element over here we're invoking the attribute um, method from from jquery and we're looking for the target and as you can see the value is blank as expected right it is important to mention that well obviously if you don't want to play around with the value itself you don't need it then right you can actually use an, an uh, a chai js um, assertion that it is actually available for use it is i get we're gonna be getting the the, the the element over here and then well we have we can use the well the command should like an assertion right and we can use something like have attribute and well um it is attribute. yeah there it is then we have to specify which attribute we want to have it is going to be target and then we can specify the value that that well it is actually it's actually expecting and in this case it should be um blank right there it is i'm going to run this again and let's take a look of the final lock over here 
if it is working or not. There is the invoke and well if we take a look of the assertion well it is grabbing the element a tag with the id simple to have the attribute target with the value blank as expected. So there are options right if you want to play around with this value you can grab it from the invoke from function and we'll use it then to grab the value from the yielded object and play around with it right that's important to, to understand and actually pretty easy as soon as you grab, get the idea well then we are gonna have a very simple uh, it which is gonna be invoke to get text right and it is gonna be pretty simple um cause it's basically the same stuff i'm gonna open here and function and in order to get a text from an element well we have to do something like uh, let's imagine that uh, i want to get the the links text over here so i'm gonna inspect for the element and well it has a class main header so i'm gonna do something like scigat main header but this is a class so it needs it needs a dot at the beginning of the of the value right and then we can do a, an invoke function we can call the text function over here right and we can do a then over here and then well actually we can grab the, the value right the text value and we can do a side look over here too if we want to see what what is actually the text value that we are actually grabbing from the from the dom okay so i'm gonna execute this again let's take a look of the final result invoke to get text and it is not working because text value is not defined let me see what i did wrong over here a uh, text value invoke text oh i see this has this has to be an error function and it is not let's see if it, it solves the the issue mm -hmm and well as you can see it is getting the main header which is this one over here then we're invoking the text a method from the jquery api and then we have the links value which is the value the text value from the uh, element main header so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video please hit the, the like button and subscribe and well it is gonna motivate me to keep working on this kind of videos to keep explaining you more stuff about test automation and well thank you very much for watching the whole video this was drug media and see you in the next one bye bye